Editing existing scenarios in Kovacs allows you to change just about any variable you can think of. In this video, we'll cover some of the more basic changes you can make to scenarios to improve your training, make it more fun, or just to cater it to your skill level. Let's start with mid-range Long Strafes Invincible as an example. Head to Online Scenarios, find the one you would like to edit, download it by clicking on the arrow, I already have it downloaded, and then head to your local scenarios. Click Edit and Yes to the pop-up and you'll reach this screen with all sorts of options. This is what the scenario looks like by default. And now, let's go experiment. Before heading into the Profile Manager, there are a few quick and handy options in the Edit Scenario window. You can change the time limit here and whether the time increases with each kill. You can turn Invincibility of the Player and Target on and off here. And this is the option used to create the invincible variations of scenarios you've likely come across. You can also change the map used and its size. You can change the time scale here, which is a fast and easy way to modify the difficulty of a scenario. For example, setting it to 0.5 would have everything move 50% slower, but the time limit remains the same. You can also lock the hip fire field of view to a certain value or a range so everyone is forced to play on that same or similar field of view. This is fairly niche, but it can be useful for avoiding cheesing with extreme settings and for coaching specific skills and drills. Starting with the character tab, we can look at the main properties like health, respawn time and a headshot only option. You can mouse over the question marks for an explanation on what each option means if you are unsure. The Weapons tab shows which weapons are available for this profile. In this particular example, it is the LG or Lightning Gun, but say you wanted to train with a pistol, you can simply add it here. The Move tab is all about the speed and type of movement the bot will have. This does not include strafing parameters, which we'll cover a little later in the video. There are all sorts of options here, but a simple and popular change is editing the Run Speed. This will make the bot move faster or slower. The Boxes tab has some very interesting options to experiment with. If you select None for the character model, it will default to the standard cylinders, cubes and spheres that you'll often see. You can also change their size here and whether you want it to have a head or not. The other character models like Ecto, Endo and Mezzo change the target to a humanoid with realistic animations. This can be great for practicing your movement reading as you can observe and react to changes in the direction of the legs and torso. It can also help develop habits of aiming at the head or upper chest. You can even apply different skins to these models to change their appearance. And when using these models, you may want to hide the bounding box. We won't cover every possible option in this video as we're focusing on more of the common and impactful changes but we do highly recommend just having a look through just to see what's possible. The main options to look at in the Weapons Profile Editor are your weapon type, so whether it's a projectile or hit scan, the weapon damage, fire rate, ammo, and whether aim down sights is enabled. You can fully customize the recoil and spread of the weapon here too, if you so choose. The Abilities tab has no active abilities for our current scenario, but you could activate and edit some if you want you or the target to have some unique behaviors. Swapping over to a different scenario with Rocket Flyer 1v1, you can see there are several active abilities and inside each one, we can change the variables and how the AI will choose to use them. The Bot Profile tab has some niche options like adding multiple dodging profiles, changing ability usage behavior, and how they use their weapons against you if you are in a combat scenario. The Dodge Profile Editor is where you can make all sorts of changes to the strafing behavior. Toggle Left Right Timer is where you will go to alter how often the target changes directions. Choosing a lower value like 0.3 and 0.5 makes it into more of a fast strafing scenario, while a higher value like 2 and 2 will have such long strafes that the bot will be sent into each wall before reacting and changing direction. You can change this reaction behavior in the React tab, Increasing the reaction time will cause the target to collide with the wall for longer, so you typically want to keep this value fairly low. The Aim Profile tab determines the aiming behavior of the bots for competitive scenarios. The options are very extensive, but are also fairly self-explanatory, so we won't cover them here. When editing a scenario, be sure to hit Save As, 
give it a name and any appropriate updates to the description, tags and author field. Be sure to regularly hit save during the editing process. When you are finished up, you can either find and play your scenario from your local scenarios, keeping it private, or you can hit the arrow next to it to upload it to the workshop where it becomes available to everyone in the online scenarios tab. And that about covers the basics of editing scenarios in Kovacs. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more content like this, and we'll catch you in the next one.